Hey, what's going on? It's Ryan Stuman here, President and CEO of Break Free Academy and Chief Blogger over at HardcoreCloser.com. And today I'm going to talk to you about three steps to close a sales deal, right? A lot of people try to convolute and complicate the whole sales process, and I'm going to break it down and make it real simple. Matter of fact, let me draw this on the whiteboard for you. So let's just say that this is your prospect right here, right? They're all like happy, shiny. But here's the thing. They're they're confused, right? They've got a question, they've got a problem, they've got an issue that they're trying to get a solution to. Most salespeople immediately when they get on the phone with somebody, when they get face to face with somebody or whatever the case, they start dumping features and talking about all these benefits and everything else. Let's just forget all the old school sales training that you've had before. Let's just get forget all the complicated mental Jedi mind trick psychology things that you've had to learn before. And let's just know that this is all your prospect wants to do is go from one side of the bridge, which is confusion, to the other side of the bridge, which is excitement. That's it, right? That's all it takes. All we're trying to do is solve a problem that's causing them confusion that leads us to excitement. And there's three simple steps that'll take you through that process, rather take the prospect through that prospect. Step number one is actually ask questions and listen, right? So we'll just put that again. Listen. You see, so many salespeople, they get on the call, and this is how it goes. They say, we'll just use the old whiteboard eraser here and hope it doesn't put stuff on my face. But they're like, oh, actually, you know what? Let's don't do that. Let's don't improvise. Let's use real props, ladies and gentlemen. So get on the phone. They'll say, hey, it's Ryan Stuma with Break Free Academy. I heard you were looking for sales training. Here's what we can do for you. We can give you access to a membership site. We can send you a monthly newsletter. You can get awesome whiteboard videos with a handsome guy in a blue shirt in front of you on the camera every single day. And they just start immediately dumping all these features. And meanwhile, they don't ever think to listen and ask questions to figure out why in the hell the prospect's there in the first place with the problem that they have and what that problem might be. So step one to closing a deal is listen. My favorite saying in sales that I say all the time, I made this up myself so it's not something that came from anywhere else, it's he who speaks the least earns the most. When you get off of a sales call with somebody, if you have it transcribed, and if the salesperson talked more than the prospect, then the salesperson, the, ch the chances are the salesperson did not close that deal. However, if you get it transcribed and the prospect talked more than the salesperson, chances are the salesperson earned a commission check from that sale. So number one is listen. Number two is garner empathy with the prospect. So how do you garner empathy? First of all, you repeat step one, you listen. See, if you ask questions and you listen to the prospect, then what happens is they understand that you have empathy for them. Now, not sympathy. Sympathy is like when you feel sorry for somebody, like, oh, you poor bastard, right? Empathy is where like, I understand where you're coming from. I get what you're saying, sir. I understand your problem and I want to help you. And the only way a person can have the understanding that you have empathy for them is if you ask them questions and you listen. You see, what happens is a lot of salespeople, they'll say, okay, so how does that make you feel? Well, it makes me, well, let me tell you this. And they just interrupt them and interject and they just want to talk and it does not work. He who speaks the least earns the most. So you, you listen and then you garner empathy with that person. Because here's the deal. People go through life. Your prospect goes through life. Their spouse doesn't listen to them. Their kids don't listen to them. Their employees don't listen to them. Their boss don't listen to them. Their friends don't listen to them. The people on social media don't listen to them. We live in a society where it's everybody's like, look at me, look at me, listen to me, listen to me. But nobody listens to each other. So when you're different, when they've been to 10 different salespeople and every salespeople's talk their ear off, and you're the actual person to just listen to them, it changes the game and all of a sudden it creates empathy to where they're like, this guy gets it. He's actually listened to me and, and he gets it. He understands my situation and that's empathy right there. When the prospect, now you can't tell the prospect, I'm very empathetic towards your situation, sir, because then they're like, oh, this guy talking down to me or what? You have to let the light bulb go off in their mind that says, oh, hey, this guy's actually listened to me and he understands my situation. And the third step to closing a sale, real simple, is confidence. See, if you've listened to them and you understand their, their, their problem, if you understand their issue that they're facing, and, you've, and they've got empathy, they understand that you've got empathy with them, and they say, oh, this person's listened to me, they understand my situation, and you confidently diagnose them with your product as the solution to their problem, it's game over. You see, we have to have confidence as a salesperson. You can't be like, well, I think you need sales training. Well, I think you probably need a few more leads because if you're not confident, then they're going to be like, well, this guy thinks I need somebody who's sure. 
So when you get on the phone with them, when you get face to face with them, you've listened to all their questions. They understand that you empathize towards their subject because you've listened to their questions and you haven't out talked them. And then you say, here's what you need. I've seen this done time and time again. If you'll just do X, Y, Z, you'll get X, Y, Z results. Does that sound like something that you'd like to have happen in your life? Right? When you have the confidence to just go forward and say that, but then what happens? They put their hands up. They start giving you objections and everything else. Well, you know, I'm not certain or I'm not certain, but I'm certain for you. I've seen this happen a million times. I mean, let's think about the doctor. When you go into the doctor's office, he doesn't go, well, let me tell you about cancer. Right? Like that's not how it happens. He takes your blood pressure, makes you stick out your tongue, sometimes puts a thumb in your butt, whatever he's got to do to probe your vitals to make sure that you know, your doctor doesn't put a thumb in your butt. Oh, I didn't I'm look at the camera guy right now. That's not normal. Well, I didn't know that. But anyway, so maybe your doctor doesn't do that. I thought that was normal stuff that all of them do that. But anyway, so back to the point is the doctor checks your vitals, goes through a process, checks out everything, feels on you from head to toe, does everything that he's supposed to. And then he says, here's the problem. You have cancer. Cancer is going to cost you $10,000. He doesn't go in and start selling you the benefit of cancer. Listen, you're going to lose weight. You're not going to have to shave anymore. Like he doesn't start trying to sell you the benefits of that. He goes through, he gets an under, he asks you a bunch of questions. He gets empathetic towards the way that you feel. And then he confidently diagnoses you. And he says, hey, listen, we've seen this case thousands of times before, treated it and cured it. And by the way, wouldn't it be nice if us salespeople could use the same takeaway clothes doctors do? But if you don't buy my stuff, you could die. How powerful would we all be as salespeople if we could say that same thing? So it's simple. Three steps to closing a sale, right? Because all we're trying to do is get the prospect from confused with a problem across the bridge to where they're excited to have the solution. Number one is listen. Number two is garner empathy with them. And number three is confidently diagnose them with the solution. For more sales training like this, then head over to my blog, hardcorecloser.com. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and make sure you watch some of the other videos around here because they're all full of awesomeness just like this one. And we'll catch you next time.